Jesus has bound Satan. Satan right now is bound as regards God's people, as regards the church. So when you think of Satan and what he's doing today, when you think about Satan's activity, do not think of some supernatural being that just has free reign to run amok and do whatever he wants. That is not the case. As regards God's people, Satan is absolutely bound. Take a look at Colossians 2 and verse 15. Jesus disarmed the rulers and authorities. Or Luke in chapter 10, verse 17 and 18. This, this is when Jesus sends out the 72. The 72 return and they return with joy saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And Jesus said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from the heavens. Or Matthew chapter 16 and verse 18. On this rock I will build my church and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. Satan right now is given a, a type of short leash, a type of short chain in which God is allowing him in the sovereignty of God as God looks over all of his creation. God is allowing Satan to do certain things and to particularly with those who are not God's people. God's allowing Satan to do certain things, but it's all within God's control. And as regards God's people, Satan has no authority or no power to touch you. He has no ability to do anything to God's people aside from God's sovereign, loving permission. 